Good morning to this uh, sunny day here in Frankfurt and welcome to your daily news update. Um, the fact of the matter is when it comes to speaking about the markets that it's not all so sunny right now. Wall Street had a correction yesterday. The DAX dropped by almost 2% yesterday. It is somehow all about the upcoming US election. The volatility was very low. Yesterday in the video I said that on the US options markets, if you look at the uh, Chicago Board of Option, Options Exchange, there has, have been seven times higher call positions on the volatility index for the S&P 500 index than um, there were put options. So a lot of um, traders actually expected that volatility would go higher from a very, very low level. And so yesterday we had that spike. Now, when it comes to technicals, um, the, the uh, technical analysis, if you look at the S&P 500 at around um, 2,107 points, we dropped below that for some minutes yesterday. If we were to close below that, there is the 200-day 200 moving, 200 moving average is at 2,107 points. Should we drop below that, this would in, um, activate a falling wedge formation, which could bring us down another 5% to around 2,000 points. So if you look at um, the um, empirical data, then you find that this is unusual because cyclically we normally have more we have rising um, equity markets going into the election. Should that happen, the um, actually incumbent uh, candidates or party would win that would serve um, Hillary Clinton in the election. But now, should we have um, a drop in, or should we have a correction on Wall Street that would actually um, help Donald Trump? Nevertheless, if you look at the typical cyclical um, development and cyclical trend that we have in an election year in the Dow Jones, then you find that it is rising until the end of the year and only then it makes a high for the year. If that high in the Dow Jones had already been in June this year, which, which it was, or September, June, somewhere in summer, um, which it seems to be, then we would have a translation of that, cycle, of that cycle and um, that would be a bearish translation because if the market, if the cyclicals actually drive markets higher or give the trend to go up and markets make a high before that, there is weakness. And um, if you look at the S&P 500, all the price action this year has been um, negatively impacted by a divergence in the MACD. So just, just open next gen, just open a chart of the S&P 500 of the uh, past um, like one year and then um, put a MACD indicator into it. And then you find that with the rise in, in like uh, springtime this year, there has been a MACD high and then markets rose and rose and broke out to new all time highs, but the MACD dropped, made lower lows. So there's a divergence between the MACD and price action in the S&P 500. And should we drop below the 200-day moving average, which could, which could happen today with the Federal Reserve this evening, which could happen on Friday with the NFP numbers, should we drop below that, all the breakout action, price action that we had this year could be, um, could a little smell, I could say, uh, smell like a bull trap. So there could be some correction coming which even goes below 2,000 points. Um, just bear that in mind, there is a buyer that has always bought at 2,100, 2,107, 2,117. 2,117, he couldn't hold yesterday. The S&P dropped below that. So should the 200-day moving average also break, that would be a technical bearish signal.